by working with Sir Ridley Scott on such an iconic film of this scale? Um, it was. Um, it was uh, terrifying and uh, thrilling and um, terrifying again. And then it got more thrilling again, and then it was terrifying. Good experience, then. <laughs> it, was br- it was brilliant. It was brilliant. You know, I mean, you, you're working with some of the... Uh, you're working with legends, you know, which is, yeah, terrifying and thrilling. But, um, but uh, at the end of the day, you're all doing the same job, and uh, you're working towards the same goal. Um, so, yeah, sitting, sitting down and kind of... And, and working with people like that is a is a very special experience, you know, because they're they're artists, and you know, they, they, to work as an artist, to work with other artists who are at the top of their game is is only going to make your artistic muscles stronger. <laughs> and scare you. <laughs> yeah, and scare you. So, what was the preparation like for this? What, like, I mean, there have been 400 books written about Napoleon. Yes. So, how did you go about bringing your character to life? I read them all. <laughs> uh, I, I, I did actually read a lot. I, I, um, I, I, I had about six or so, I had about six or seven reference books on the go, because um, obviously I was, as you know, centred. Um, but uh, I listened to the most amazing podcast called The Age of Napoleon. I listened to that a lot. I was decorating at the time, you know, the actor's other job. And um, so while I was roller in the ceiling, I had the earbuds in and I was listening to Age of Napoleon. I, um, uh, and yeah, that was it. I kind of immersed myself in, in the world and learned so much about it. It's an incredible period in history. And Napoleon was an incredible human both good and bad, you know. What was it like working with Ridley, Joaquin, Vanessa? Uh, I didn't have much to do with Vanessa. I only had a couple, tiny wee bits with Vanessa. So I sort of saw her across a room um, a couple of times. That was it. Um, but Joaquin's just brilliant. Joaquin's lovely. He's dead friendly. He's dead, he's dead easy going. He's not, he's not precious in any way at all. And he's fun. And he likes a good laugh. So I was like, oh, this is so good. I'm so glad. Why does this film need to be seen on the big screen at a cinema? Uh, because it is, um, it's the most epic thing you'll ever see in your life, probably. Nobody does it like Ridley. And it's Joaquin and Vanessa. And it, it, it spans continents. And it's the most incredible story. You have to see it on the big screen. Don't watch it on your bloody phone. And lastly, what was it? Uh, what is a moment? What was a moment from on set that you just can't believe happened? You're like, I love my job right now, and that you can't wait for audiences to see. Sitting opposite Joaquin. Sitting opposite Joaquin for our my, well, my first sort of scene with him. I've only got two. Or, I mean, I'm, I'm in a lot, but I've got two scenes, just me and him. And yeah, sitting opposite him on the last day of filming, actually. Sitting opposite him going, well, you better do it now. Fucking, you got yourself here. Pull your socks up and get on here. Anything that blew your mind where you were like, I can't believe this is real, because there's like no CGI really in it. Uh, yeah, the, the Siege of Toulon, even though a lot of it is, is CGI, we used an old castle in Malta. Um, and the three of us, me and Joaquin um, and Taha, were on horseback. And there was 300 extras in front of us. And we had to run. We had to charge. We charged. We got off our horses, ran up ladders with, you know, cutlasses out. That, that was pretty ridiculous. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hey You Guys! Hey, hey you guys! <laughs> hey you guys! <laughs> Hey, that's what they all say. Hey, you guys! Hey!